Hi, this video would help people who have got a JBL Flip 2 which doesn't charge um, and it's sort of a do-it-yourself guide to connecting a USB charger to the device. I got this uh, JBL Flip 2 a couple of months back, uh, basically from my mom. Uh, she would listen to her music on this and uh, apparently she happened to have connected the charger uh, you know, incorrectly and uh, the, the, the female USB connector in the flip 2 just snapped or rather it just broke inside. Uh, I tried taking it to the JBL service center they said that uh, it would take about a month for them to get it done or they do not have the parts for it or whatever. So I thought I would just open it up and do it myself. So, uh, uh, well, what I have done is, uh, firstly, if you would want to do something like this, you need to be very sure that it is the connector uh, which is giving you problems. So, if you can see this, if I can just focus there, if you see the connector pin which I have uh, is broken from inside. And uh, so, there was just one option for me to just change this. However, um, I'm not very good at uh, in circuits and soldering so what I did was I thought of just connecting a female uh, USB uh, 2.0 uh, cable and just uh, sort of uh, solder the wires inside rather than connecting the uh, you know the female USB connector the micro USB connector so well, here's what you need to do. Uh, you open it up. There are plenty of screws that you got to unscrew them, and uh, finally you just got to get it open. And once you do that, what you would notice is uh, section where they have these connectors has got some sort of this white gooey substance. I don't know what you call it, but uh, it's very difficult for you to remove the PCB on which the female uh, micro USB connector is mounted so what I did was I sort of just you know uh, pulled it out with the tweezers like I had to really apply a lot of pressure and uh, I had to even take my soldering gun down there and just melt a bit of that uh, this, that white substance and finally it gave in and what I did get was this PCB on which the connector was mounted and uh, I just snapped it out yeah so what then you have is the spare set of cables it's rather a connector right here if you see on the main board uh, which connects to this uh, small PCB on which the female connector is mounted so I just, if you see these cables here, yeah, those were going to the PCB. It was really difficult for me to remove the entire thing. I had to really un get this white stuff off and then maybe unscrew the PCB, which was quite difficult. So what I rather did was just, uh, uh, you know, cut these cables right here at the source. And what then I had was these four cables remaining with me, red, black, white, and yellow okay to which i connected a usb female connector uh, which i had got off from ebay uh, it just cost a couple of bucks and uh, here's what i did okay so once i opened up i got to this point where uh, i exposed these uh, the usb cables um, and what you need to do is if you want to do something like this make sure the the usb cable that you have uh, uh, just do not directly solder it to the the, the, the main usb wires there uh, make sure you first insert it from the connector area here uh, what, what the reason why i did that was because once i close the unit up once I close the speakers up, I don't want the wire to, I mean there should be a way for the, the cable uh, to get out. It would be difficult for you to, 
uh, to just pull it out then. So what I did was I uh, inserted it uh, at the beginning from the, the section where the area from where you uh, the, the connector was uh, idly uh, the, from where you connect the charger and so I just had to uh, since the cable is a little bigger uh, in, in, in diameter I had to uh, you know just uh, sort of make the section a little bigger I did that using the soldering gun and uh, I got it out from here and uh, then what I did was I put it right this is the area where the USB was idly uh, the PCB uh, for the female USB original connector was idly located so I uh, put the cable from here and I got it from got it out from back here right I did even have to uh, put my soldering gun here uh, for the cable for, to let the cable in and once I did that if you see I've just tied a small knot here uh, that is just to protect the cable from ever getting snapped out uh, from the speaker okay uh, once I got this thing in uh, the cable in I stripped the wires from the female USB 2.0 cable and I stripped the wires from the original connector and I have soldered them together I would now tape it up and then that's about it I would just close the whole unit up and I did test it using the connector it does work just make sure that uh, uh, you tape up these uh, connectors well and say so they don't touch any other part of the PCB ok you don't want that to be happening and uh, well that's it uh, maybe you have some other ideas that uh, you can you know, maybe you could use a micro USB female connector since I didn't have that I had this I used this one but if you do get micro USB female um, cable connectors you could use that in which case you could use the original charger to charge the unit so well uh, if you have any comments or if you have any questions please do uh, just write a comment and I would reply to that. Thank you so much.